When you first start 3ds Max 2010 or 2011, what you will find is the user interface is this very gray, slightly drab sort of look to it. Now, there are perfectly good reasons for this. Uh, obviously, gray isn't too bright. It's not going to sort of strain your eyes too much. But there are other interfaces and other different colors that we can use. And it's really down to your user preference because these colors have only really been introduced in the 2010 and 2011 versions of the program. If I do want to change the user interface or I want to change the color or the style or the feel of the program, it's actually very, very easy to do so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to customize. And as you come down the list here, I've got this customize UI and default switches. So if I just click on that, you'll see that we've got a whole great big dialog box comes up here. And we've got our initial settings for the tool options over here and our UI schemes. Now, what this means is if I click on one of these buttons, what you'll see is this is what I'm going to get. So the AME, which is the Autodesk Media and Entertainment, is the dark, or I could have the light. Now, the light version looks a lot more like the traditional style of 3D Studio Max. It's a very light gray. Uh, it's got very colorful icons on there. And if you've ever seen this program before, if you've, used other, you've seen other people using it, uh, perhaps in the past, you may well have seen them using it with this light interface. Another time that you might see this light interface is if you see someone using the design visualization version of 3D Studio Max, also known as 3ds Max Design. Now, that interface is going to look very, very similar to this. Again, it's that very sort of light interface. Um, what you're going to get from there as well, as you'll see, are these things which are slightly different. So, for example, when you open up your materials editor, you'll notice that you'll always be using the architectural materials by default. Not only will you be using the architectural materials by default, but you will also find that things like real world scale are set as default for your mapping coordinates. And pretty much what you can do is you can get 3D Studio Max. If you've bought the sort of the, the media and entertainment version, you can get it to look and feel and react exactly like 3ds max design also if you've bought 3ds max design and you want to use it in more of a media and entertainment style by using these options you can change it back and you can make it act and react exactly like 3ds max and you can decide well do i want the dark interface or do i want the light interface we've also got options here where we can set it up uh, for default with v-ray or we can set it up by default to use mental ray as our renderer so we've got an awful lot of options here as to how we want to use the program, what we're going to be using it for, for the end product. What you might find in these videos as we go forwards is that some of the videos are using the dark interface and some of the videos are using the light interface. What I would say to you is don't worry about this. Don't worry if yours looks different, if yours is permanently darker, if yours is permanently light. There is absolutely no difference in what we're going to be doing or what I'm going to be teaching you. And in actual fact, it's probably because at some point I flicked over from using the AME dark interface to the AME light interface, possibly for another piece of work that I was doing.